Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to recover the silver in my silver chloride jar. I will siphon that off and then we're going to put it in a smaller container and then start rinsing it with hot water and let it settle. And then we will recover it with either the lye sugar method or the weak sulfuric acid and iron. It's kind of my favorite one, honestly. Just a couple more minutes. All right, so we've got the silver chloride in a different container. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna let that settle down for a little while. And then we are gonna pour it off and then I'm going to start with some hot water rinses, and I'll probably put it in a smaller container so the volume of hot water rinses is a little smaller but leaves enough room so that we won't have any boil overs with the lye or sugar method. Well, that's cleared up enough for us. I'm going to pour that off. So we've rinsed it a couple of times, and I'm going to put some hot water on it this time, and then we're going to let that settle and decant and start to clean up that silver chloride. We are going to start adding lye to this. I like to keep a little water in it to help with the um, mixing. One hundred and fifty three degrees. I'm gonna let that sit for a little while. All right, we're gonna use the magnetic stir to stir this. While I put the sugar in, I'm going to just put just a little bit more lye in. Um, I think we're good, but I just want to make sure. And then we will start converting. Starting to add the sugar.
Then we gotta watch that and let them boil over. So we'll wait a couple minutes. Getting that cement color. We're gonna mix it up. Alright, I've increased the stir rate and we're just gonna let that stir for about 15 minutes. I'll add some water and then start cleaning it up. So we have a little bit of mirroring right here. You see that? So it's pretty cool. We're almost done. Bird's eye view. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a little while. Let that, I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and we'll come back to it and decant and start cleaning up that silver. Well, here we are. It's uh, been a couple hours, we're still draining and filtering and uh, cementing out and I just don't know sometimes you think you understand something and you hit a roadblock I really thought I had complete conversion of that silver chloride last night you know I know I put plenty of lye in there plenty of sugar and I just I don't know what to tell you man but here we are cleaning this up and uh We'll draw that out and um, melt it up and have a little silver for the silver cell. So we're going to rinse the filter. Let that sit overnight. Looks like it's slowing down really. I'll, uh, let it go until the morning. I'll probably stir it tonight and let it settle down. But there you go. That's all the silver from that silver chloride. Man, what a drag. But, you know, just keep going and don't let it stop you. All right. This is our results of the cementation. It's uh, been in there for 24 hours. The silver nitrate has turned into sil uh, copper nitrate. The silver has fallen out and the copper atoms have gone into solution. That's why it went from silver nitrate to copper nitrate. And what we're going to do now is clean that up a little bit. So I will decant that off and we're going to come back and clean that up a little bit. All right, this is the cemented silver that we pulled out of the silver jar there. I return the copper bars to that copper nitrate to pull any silver out. And we'll reduce this down to store with the rest of the copper salt, excuse me, copper nitrate. And then we will use that for electrolysis to, uh, for another project uh, involving the silver cell. So here we are, we're going to start to clean that up. I'll let that settle tonight, pour it off and give it some hot water boils. But uh, there we go. It looks 100% better. We'll get a weight on it later, too. So we're starting to uh, separate the silver from the top weak copper nitrate solution. And uh, I'm not going to bore you guys to death with this. I will clean it up and we'll dry it out. And we'll have some cameo appearances by this cemented silver every now and then. 
We can see here we're starting to clean up the silver. I am going to run it through a two liter beaker. What I'll do is I'll put hot distilled water and we'll rinse it until it comes clean instead of decanting off. I always feel like I lose more values when I pour it off. So we're gonna try and capture everything with that filter or at least minimize our losses and then dry it later. And uh, you can see we still have a little bit of cementation going on there, but I like to stop it early. They say if you, you know, dilute the solution a little and let it go a little farther, that's where you get the palladium and other metals higher than silver to drop out. I want just pure silver. So that's why I usually stop it after the first eight to 10 hours and then let it go like that. But anyway, we're gonna clean that up and uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. We're almost finished cleaning this up. I'm gonna finish running these two cups of water. So boiled distilled water through here. We'll check out. And, uh, we might be drying this out tonight. This is the cemented silver we're drying out. Uh, we'll uh, get a weight on it a little later. It's uh, still just a little damp, but we'll uh, we'll dry it out completely, and then we we'll said get a weight on it. All right, so this concludes the silver chloride slash cementation conversion. We have almost 18 grams. That's not bad, you know, for just stuff sitting around not being used. Like I said, this will probably be run through um, my silver cell. I'll pour a little shot. It's a little cold outside. I got to get ready for the storm coming up. So we'll pour some shot later. All right, man. Thanks.